After the tools are made, the production of individual components begins. Only with computer-controlled technology can precision to a thousandth of a millimeter be realized, such as in the manufacture of filigreed tourbillon carriages, or as manufacturing swan neck springs, as seen here. A start hole is drilled into a piece of metal through which a fine wire made of tungsten carbide 0.05 to 0.1 millimeters in diameter is threaded. This wire is charged with up to 220 volts and the desired component is cut out in distilled water. Here we have made the ray of light visible on a larger component as it can otherwise hardly be seen by the human eye. This is how small swan neck springs are. Only 120 springs can be manufactured using this difficult process in an eight hour period. A stamping machine would need about a minute for this. One unbeatable advantage of wire spark erosion technology is its extremely precise maintenance of measurements. Furthermore, components can be ground and polished better. We are now in the department for manufacturing flat and individual components. At the moment, spring barrel bridges are being put into position that will receive their very own Glashütte Original logo. The component holder is put in place and the highly precise process begins. The unmistakable logo is perfect. On another CNC machine, base plates, cocks and bridges are created in a special watchmaking brass using a tolerance of a maximum of five thousandths of a millimetre. This CNC machine can work up to 36 components at the same time. At the beginning, these components are no more than coin-shaped rondels on movable surfaces at the beginning of the process. One operation at a time is performed on all of the components. For this, the machine needs about six hours per plate side until it is done. Step by step, the machine automatically chooses one of the up to 90 drills and milling tools from its repertoire of tools in order to complete the desired process. Here, a balance cock is fashioned with the aid of a tool that was especially made for it at Glashütte Original. Despite computer-controlled precision, personal inspection of the milling parameters remains indispensable. The pieces are checked and compared with the prescribed parameters at every step. This is how balanced cocks and bridges look ready for the rest of their journey. The movement's flat parts manufactured on CNC machines are trimmed with a special scraper. With great skill and sensitivity, the smallest unevenness on the edges, drilled holes and recesses are removed in order to guarantee a perfectly formed fit later. All of the manufactured parts are examined once again under a loop here in the measuring room. In this case, the roundness of the drillings has been checked. This is done by establishing the true measurements by video, which can be followed on the monitor. On a base plate, up to 80 measurements on the gear train bridge side and 30 on the dial side are completed. Comparative visual measurements with this profile projector are also an important part of quality control. Here, a swan neck spring is enlarged 50 times and compared to the technical drawing so that any deviations immediately become visible. Here, the depth of the individual drillings are once again examined. Precise parts are passed on after examination. The few deviants are either reworked or sorted out. Every single Glashütte Original is a unique work of art. 
In the finishing department, watch movements receive their beautiful traditional surface finishing. Glasshütte ribbing. The machine created in the company's own toolmaking department applies this decoration to bridges, cocks and automatic rotors as seen here. To apply traditional perlage, the base plate is rotated in small steps by an experienced hand. After every step, a rotating rubber peg coated with diamond powder is pushed down on the surface with even amounts of pressure, leaving a beautiful circular pattern behind. This is done by hand to ensure that every base plate remains unique with its own special nuances. The sunburst decoration applied by a single toothed miller and a rotating diamond coated chisel is especially radiant. This lavish decoration was already introduced to watchmaking in 1868. Hand engraving is and remains the non plus ultra of finishing. The art of the engraver is to cut a pattern into bridges and cocks without first drawing on a ready-made pattern. The engraver only applies enough pressure and removes as much material that the piece is not damaged and the technical functions are not influenced. Every movement in our manufactory is a unique piece due to the loving engraving and decorating that is done by hand. For this gear train bridge from calibre 46, an engraver needs at least two entire days. Only very few watch manufacturers afford themselves an in-house galvanic department. Glashütte Original belongs to this elite circle. During this work-intensive process, the plates, rotors and even the hand-engraved cocks are refined with a coating of gold or rhodium. The parts are first nickel-plated in the baths, an essential step to securing a lasting gold coating. Only after this is the gold plating applied. Now the delicate recesses of the engraving are filled out with a protective lacquer under a microscope. The ensuing rhodium plating process gives the cock its shiny silvery colour. After the lacquer coating is removed, the engraving shines in gold.